go, everything ain't what it seemed like. But I know everybody people, everybody bleed. All right, so there you have it. Sam Darnold is the top player on Mel Kuyper's way too early big board for 2018. He's one of three quarterbacks in the top seven with Wyoming's Josh Allen and at three and UCLA's uh, Josh Rosen at seven. I'll talk to Mel about that in a second. And no surprise to anyone, four SEC players are in the top ten, led by Alabama's Mika Fitzpatrick at number two. For more on his big board, we welcome in our Mel Kuyper Jr. So, Mel, three quarterbacks in the top ten, including number one. Uh, how How is this quarterback class shaping up as a whole? I think really good, Carrie. I think you look at the top guys, as you mentioned. How about Mason Rudolph at Oklahoma State? He's going to finish his career with 42 starts. He's got James Washington going back his first senior year, a big-time wide receiver. So uh, he's got it all going. And don't forget about Mason Rudolph. And I think the three guys that we have in the top ten right now all have a little bit of an issue. Josh Rosen's coming off the injury. Think about a guy like Josh Allen losing 43 touchdowns. A guy's moving on, a couple to the NFL, loses a center chase Rulier as well. And then you have Sam Darnold, only 10 starts, but in those seven starts of the 10, he led USC's offense to 36 or more points, won his last nine starts. So a minimal uh, amount of games for Darnold, but tremendous talent, tremendous ability thrown to football, great competitiveness. Uh, that's why right now he's number one on the board. I think by a, there's a little distance between Sam Darnold and everybody else right now. All right, well, let's talk about Josh Rosen uh, at number seven. What's the biggest question mark for him going into the season? How he bounces back. He had this freshman year, which was an attention getter. Last year, he had the injury. Only played with six games. I think, how has he come back from that? Does he kind of bring back some of the magic we saw a couple years ago? Uh, what happens? I mean, we don't have enough of a really sample size yet for Rosen to say, okay, he's going to be guaranteed to be here. This is based on potential and what we saw as a freshman. How does he come back? Does he reestablish himself? And does he, uh, he get back into that top ten? Where I think if all is, if you say he optimizes everything and everything turns out good carry, he should be where I have him ranked right now. All right, you talk about the injury, how he comes back. What about his poise? That was one thing he was praised for when he was a freshman. Do we still have that? Do you still see that? Well, I think that's what the thing is with all these kids. That's why I highlighted Mason Rudolph from Oklahoma State. You have more of a sample size with him. You've seen him since his freshman year put up big numbers. Now he's back for his senior campaign. Darnold's a third-year sophomore. Rosen's only played really that one full season. That's it. And you think about Josh Allen, how does he deal with losing all those weapons and his starting center? So all three of these, and Darnold has that long delivery carry. I don't care about it. I don't think most will. Maybe some will bother him a bit. But uh, the bottom line is we'll have to see as these guys play more football, these top three quarterbacks, how do they deal with pressure now, expectations now, that they are expected to be the elite of the elite. Uh, you know, how do they deal with all that? With, with some concerns. Juju Smith-Schuster's not there for Sam Darnold either, so he loses his go-to option. All right, so it's all about uh, the sample size and what we shall see. Can I, can I talk to you for context? Um, let's look at your, your way too early big board from last year. Shall we do that? Sure. Okay, so you have Miles Garrett at the top, also Fournette and Adams, who also went in the top ten. Eight of these guys were in the first or second round. The only big outlier was this guy, Roderick Johnson, who went in the fifth. Uh, does this mean we should look in your way too early big board for 2018 and say, guess what, Mel, this is perfect? You never know, Kerry. 17 of the 25 went in the first two rounds, and two of those guys went back to college. So I felt pretty good about last year, but you can't live on last year, Kerry. This is another season and another evaluation, and I'm sure uh, David Lloyd's ready to tell me how wrong I was from a year what? gone by with Matt Barkley. <laughs> you know, let's, <laughs> let's hope that David Lloyd will not say that. Uh, <laughs> David, are you ready to, David, are you ready to criticize our, our, our good friend uh, Mel Kuyper here or no? A any chance I get to take a shot at Mel? Yeah, I I can't resist. Okay, what happened well. with Matt Barkley anyway? <laughs> Gee, hey, he's with the 49ers. Looked pretty good with the Bears last year, baby. Oh, here we go. Here we go.